Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Midjourney version 5.1 that just released, and I wanna show you 20 techniques, artist styles, some things that you may not have tried that are definitely worth taking a look at. And these are some of my favorite things that you can do inside Midjourney. And of course, I'm going to give you the prompts as well as the resource list so you can see how to do it yourself if you wanna put in the exact prompts or mess around with it. So here are just a few of the examples. And you'll see here, I've got 20 cool examples, including this guy, I would bail that dog out of jail so fast. Oh my God, innocent. Anyways, let's get right into this. Here's the first style. It's called Alebrijes, and I hopefully I didn't pronounce that wrong. But uh, this is a very cool, brightly colored Mexican folk art sculpture. Come on, Curtis, use your words. A fantasy uh, mythical creature. So I did one of a glass dragon, and this is Alebrijes and it's very, very rarely used, and I, I just think it's fantastic. Here's another style I wanna show you. It's called Anaglyph. If you've been to a 3D movie, you're gonna know what's going on here. This is the stereoscopic 3D effect, and it's generally, well, you know, it uses red, and it uses cyan on average, and it tries to create a 3D style, so you get a nice, cool, duotone-ish type look to it. Here's another one I really, really like. It's called Layered Paper, and if you look at it here, well, it's exactly what it says it is, but I love this style because it has so many different layers, excuse, yeah, pun intended, but uh, it gives it a real sense of depth and, and I just, you know, big time fan. Uh, here's another one I want to show you. It's surrealism. You're probably familiar with it, but I want to show you using version 5.1. This is Alice in Wonderland. This is the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland and it just looks fantastic. Like this is just absolutely amazing. So there's another example. The one thing I will say is this: these images here seem to lack saturation for some reason. So I would want to uh, increase saturation in Photoshop with that. This one here is black light, and that's all it is, is in the style of black light, or just put black light into the prompt. And look at that, you get this cool blackish light, like you're holding over a CSI light, uh, you know, the kind of thing I hope they don't ever hold over my sheets. <laughs> Oops, uh, I shouldn't have said that. But uh, yeah, no, black light, great effect, gives really, really high saturation, high contrast, love it. Here's another one here. This is a, in the style of, this is Nitro, he's a, Austrian, I believe Austria, not Australia, Austrian street artist and illustrator and urban artist, pardon me. And uh, he has lots of anatomical type styles where things are getting, you know, exploding and blowing apart. And here's one of a planet kind of blowing apart. And I just wanted to show you this one because A, I like his style and B, it's easy to make something in the style of another artist. Of course, I will have that prompt in the description below. Here's another one, Dick Tracy, and it's in the pulp art style. If you've ever read a, a detective book since um, between 1920 and 1960, you'll know exactly what I'm looking at here. Philip Marlowe fans, etc. Dick Tracy. This is a pulp art style. Awesome. High contrast, too. Look at that. I mean, these are really great images. Um, yeah, they really nailed it with that one. Here's one that I want to show you. It's called Holography. And this has a really cool, bright, purplish, pinkish style to it. It's, it's a hologram, basically. But here's a boxer dog in a holography style. Again, prompts are all in the description below. But I really like this look. And uh, even though Mid Journey seems to have made the dog actually a boxer and a boxer. So that's kind of weird. But hey, whatever. It's getting there. Uh, fast shutter speed for those of you that are having existential crises or you want to <laughs> give across a feeling of, you know, fast motion and, and, you know, being scared or lost or, or depressed or sad or something like that. You just add in fast shutter speed, you get a really cool look. Here's Grimdark. This is based off of the 40,000, uh, what is that, War, Warlord 40,000? No, I don't, uh, geez, there's a game. And I've even played it, but it's the, you know, something 40,000. <laughs> uh, oh God, I'm gonna get some thumbs down for this. Please, in the comments below, let me know what it is. But basically, it's just a very nice dark style that I quite like. And here's a gargoyle in the grim dark 40,000 style there. Okay, here's another one, Diesel Punk. I know you guys are familiar with cyberpunk and solar punk and all that, but here's a really cool style. I really like Diesel Punk as well. And I thought I'd put that in here. Uh, here's another one that I want to show you. It's called ASB, and this is awesome. So what this is, is I've got a English Bulldog as a space commander in this one. So that's all it is. I'll put the description below, but all you got to do is say a French Bulldog as a pilot or a, you know, a, a 
angry bear as a uh, whatever you want it to be. Maybe it's a locomotive captain, whatever. You can do some really cool things with that and it, and it really interprets it quite well. Here's another one here, double exposure. You're probably familiar with this one, but here in 5.1, I wanna show it to you. This has done a very good job. You can even see like in this bear here at the bottom left and the top right, you can see the background kind of coming right through the bear here. So again, really cool style and it's working out quite nicely. Here's one, another one, Phantasmal Iridescent. This is just makes really cool stuff if you're in the, um, like if you're creating content for like RPG games or something like that, just look at this. This is somewhere where I would take some, uh, I would take some ideas from it using this phantasmal iridescent style. Here's another one, stained glass. I mean, standard stuff, but I mean, just look at how good this is. Like this looks like it would be in a church mirror if the church was run by wolves. <laughs> but uh, there you go. And finally, just a couple left. Infographic, the infographic style works really well in 5.1, except for this top right one, which is just sort of standard. But what you could do is you could just sort of, you know, take the, the item here and then just pull out. You can just use Photoshop and then replace the uh, the text or the, the little, um, infographs with your own content here's another one matrix raining code is the prompt so this gives it that old school matrix look this looks like a bulldog in uh you know in the in the matrix movie uh, isometric art even though i misspelt it uh, i like this because again it has many many layers it looks like a like it's been chopped into like what is that 15 different layers here so i really like isometric art that sense of depth Fantastic stuff. And then finally, the last one here is cutout animation. Here it is. I've got some bull, I've got some dogs in a cutout animation style in a cyberpunk universe. But if you look at it, you'll see here that they do kind of look like they're kind of made out of another material and they've been cut out and pasted in. So that's kind of the cool look for me. And then here's one of just, you put in the prompt, going to jail slash mugshot, and you get amazing stuff just like this. Man, pay that dog's bail, that's all I'm gonna say. So there you go, there's 20 new styles that are worth a look. All the prompts are going to be in the description below. And if you have anything else that you really like, just leave a comment for me and I'll add it into a future video. Thanks for watching.